We live. I broke my tripod too. So I figured I would do a live stream for you guys, get some time, do a, some one-on-one, one-on-200, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I just got back from traveling, so I'm kind of a little flustered. It's been a long trip. Um, a lot of you guys are pouring in. Golly. Hopefully I can get an admin in here to help out. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> got a lot of stuff pouring in here. So I got a second phone. I got my main phone and I bought a second phone just for uh, live streams and content and stuff like that. So this live stream should be pretty smooth because I usually get people calling me halfway through everything else, but uh, that phone that we're filming on should be intact and all that good stuff. I don't know. How are you as dangerous as you claim? I'm feeling it right about now. All right, so give you guys a gist of what's going on. Feel free to ask me questions throughout the uh, video, I'm just going to be like trying to answer multitask and all that stuff, but what we have here is my current helmet that I've been rocking for a long time, honestly, it's been a hot minute, um, this thing is the Ruck El Diablo, and it's the Atlas II model, if you guys look in the uh, description of my video, I gotta do a nice little plug, they're having a Black Friday sale on our Rock website, so all of this month they're going to be doing um, random price breaks. Basically, just keep checking the website, and uh, they're going to be changing the prices on the helmets throughout the month for uh, Black Friday. So that's going to be pretty nutty. But uh, I want to go through this helmet real quick just to show you guys that even though I'm sponsored by them and get as many helmets as I want, I personally don't need 50 million helmets, so they, they offer to send me out new helmets, but I just rock the same one until it's completely beat. Um, and case in point right here. So we got the El Diablo. Um, I used to, I tried this out, like shoving um, stuff in the vents, but now we have this new thing. And now I've come up with uh, these vent plugs. And basically they pop right inside these vents, so I no longer need this. Um, and then uh, I got scraped up all this right here. I actually had a really good crash in Arizona. I'm not stunning or anything, but I just happened to have a bad accident and um, scraped the head of my helmet up somehow. And then the back actually has like a, a black trim right here. And I completely smashed my head on the trim and broke the trim off. It was actually in the parking lot too. Um, yeah, there's no cracks in the show that I can see. Just a whole lot of scratches and everything else. Um, but yeah, this, this sounds beat people. So um, I'm kind of done with it. <laughs> I think it's had its mileage. All the pads are still hanging in there. It's just, uh, it's rough. So let me read some comments here. So this, this, this is the reason I'm swapping out this helmet. I don't want it anymore. And shout out to Cardo. They came out with this uh, Cardo Black, um, Pack Talk Bold Black. I think it's called, it's a special edition. Basically, uh, it's a black unit instead of like a silver accent stuff they had. And then it comes with the upgraded JBL audio speakers um, versus having to order those aftermarket when you buy the traditional Pack Talk Bold. So if you want the best Pack Talk that they make for Cardo, you want it in black and you want it with the upgraded speakers already, this is everything in one little package. So it's special edition, and um, I've had this thing for months, you know, I'm not even going to lie. I'm sorry, Taylor, I'm just now, like, starting to put it together, but it's been non-stop, people. But I owe it to myself to finally spruce up my helmet, because as you can see, this shit's been, it's been a headache. Um, so one thing I want to cover for you guys, I used to use the Hero 7. Um, Motor Ads makes these really cool mounts that help you hold your adapter inside here. And this adapter is for your microphone, right? So uh, you plug this in, you slide it in here, like so. 
and then the microphone, like your 3.5 millimeter jack, that plugs in here and it runs into your helmet. And then this is your adapter other end and you plug this into your GoPro. So the problem that I had with the Hero 7 is that this is just kind of sitting here. As you can see, it just kind of sits. So if you, you think if you're like riding around, like your helmet's moving all over the place, this cord's uh, susceptible to being like flimsy and stuff like that and get snagged on stuff. Um, so this design worked for really well for so long until um, I guess the GoPro or this started to get worn and loose. And um, I would plug it in and have it fully plugged in and it wouldn't work after I'd go to play back the audio. So there's so many really good rides that I fucking missed out on just because I thought the audio was good and it just completely tore up the audio. So it was hard to switch from the seven to the eight because the seven, you just plug everything in, you press record and hopefully it starts recording. Um, but the eight is different. The eight, um, basically the way you set it up, this is my whole Hero 8 setup right here. Um, the cool thing about it, it's got the media mod um, and this is by far the most simplistic style um, GoPro setup that you can have on a, Go on a helmet camera that I've seen. So with that, what I mean by that is like look wise, it's the least amount of stuff on your helmet, like filling space up. Uh, but you do have to sacrifice um, the routine that you do when you're um, get, like setting this thing up to record. So this is going to frame here. Um, you take your back door off your Hero 8 when you first get it. And you have these little clips right here so you can slide your mounts in and you just close that out. So you got these blue batteries. If you're using the media mod, the Hero 8 has these new blue trim batteries. You have to use them with the media mod because the firmware on the media mod um, only works with these newer batteries. So if you use a Hero 7 battery and it's not blue, it's not going to work on your media mod. So you put your battery in, you slide your GoPro into your case, clip it in. And then boom, so you're on there. Let's say you're gonna put it on your helmet, right? So you'd like put it on your helmet. It's mounted on your helmet. And then from here, you'd usually have everything plugged in like the Hero 7 with your microphone and everything else. But the Hero 8, you can't have your microphone plugged into your Hero 8. So now I got my helmet on. My Hero 8 is now on, but the microphone is not plugged in. You wait about five seconds. Take your microphone, plug it into your Hero 8, wait another five seconds, and then you start pressing record. Um, so the thing that sucks, um, for the normal person, like if you, if you have 10 seconds to spare every time you're changing out batteries or turn your GoPro off and then turn it back on to start filming again, this isn't a problem at all. But for me, uh, we'll go up to a gas station to, to get gas for five minutes and it ends up being a two second stop because we're getting chased out of there. So now I gotta turn my GoPro off, unplug the mic, turn it back on, wait five seconds, plug the mic in, wait another five seconds, then press record, and then I'm starting to record. Um, so if you wait too short a time to uh, do one of those steps, next thing you know, you have no audio. So I've had really good luck with the Hero 8 as far as um, my audio being good and, and um, following that procedure, but you gotta be really uh, thorough about swapping out the um, batteries and everything else and following those like wait five seconds, plug the mic in, yada, yada, yada. So I don't warn you guys with that, but this is what I use, the Hero 8. And this mount right here is like a swivel mount. It's like a ball right here, as you can see. And it's great because no matter what helmet you have, it's gonna work great as far as getting the angle that you want. I use that, no other mounts, screwed right into the Hero. And from there, you just mount it right into the helmet and then use the ball to swivel it however you want it to be placed. Uh, let's see here. So this, this case is really cool because yeah, you can vlog, it's got the microphone, the attachments for your, uh, your flash and all that crap, but it also has all the mounts that you would have on your GoPro hidden. So you got your 3.5 millimeter audio jack and then some HDMI plugs and all that good stuff. So this plug right here, this hole, is the same hole as this thing. But the difference is, this is all in one box, right? So this, you got cords hanging off and all this other crap, but this little hole is the same exact hole that you get on this one. So in theory, all you have is this little tiny cord coming out of your helmet, plugged into the back flush. So it's all, everything's nice and seated on the helmet, hidden, and it's really hard to snag it 
and, you, and the biggest thing is you don't have wires coming off the side of your helmets and stuff like that. So I just want to give you guys like a breakdown of why I use this setup and um, what makes it so good for me. I'm a stunt rider, so I'm like smacking my helmet, pulling through the bars, and like every little millimeter of space with this GoPro that takes up, I literally kick my, my uh, helmet and stuff like that with my knee when I'm like pulling through sometimes, and, and sometimes that's a wire that you're snagging. Let me read some comments here, see what's cracking. I should probably sit down. Take her easy. What you guys all up to tonight? What up, Guero? Um, best stunt round of 2020 so far. I don't know, I'm not the right person to ask on that because I'm not really too concerned about like the the size of uh, the rides, more so just the, the vibe that you have, I guess. Um, there was no after party at ROL, which is kind of whack. Um, I know that Cali's kind of locked down and all that stuff, but it was kind of lame. We just kind of rode and dipped out pretty quickly. Um, I don't know that. I had, a good, I had a good trip everywhere else I went. Thanks for present. I appreciate that. What up? One way. I'm trying, man. The policies I have set in mind are going to change this world. All right, let's get to the good stuff. We're not done looking at clap helmets. We got all these clap mounts and everything else. This is really good to have, too, by the way. This is a cheat sheet. Um, if you ever need to reuse these mounts, people, you can just peel off all this uh, adhesive, right? And then it's just a plastic piece. And then you can use this roll of 3M. Um, double sided adhesive stuff to reuse your mount so you don't have to keep buying mounts. That's a pretty new thing that people should know by now. Yeah, I appreciate it. Cali Grammy. That's two different brands in the name. You gotta pick one. My day's been good. Shipped all the orders out. Got a little tiny road trip plan for uh, as soon as this live stream's over. I'm chilling, people. Alright, one second. Make the goods. We got a new helmet, dude. I have had this helmet. Like, look how beat up the box is. I am not lying. <laughs> it's bad. I've had this helmet in the box for so long, I just didn't want to change out my current helmet setup. All that crap. But, uh, yeah. It feels good to finally have a new helmet. Shout out to Rora. You know my cousin. <laughs> Man, interesting. Oh yeah, I got this shirt hanging up. You guys want a shirt? Dankwheeler.com. Discount code Dankfam. Oh, all right. So here we are. Finally opening this helmet up. Got a nice little poster. And cool thing about Rock, you come with the extra visor, so you don't have to buy a second one. Usually it's clear and black. So let me show you guys the new piece. No more Diablo, sadly. Well, hey, wait a minute. What guy, let me see. What helmet do you guys think I got from Rock? You guys can guess the right answer in one minute. Send me an email and I'll send you out a care package. We'll make this a challenge. What helmet do you think I got? Everybody gets one one guess each. Six fifty one. Dude, I got some battle scars for real. Ugh, trash. Sorry guys, I'm trying to read comments. And uh, twenty four karat. Yeah, right. It was eighteen karat gold, by the way. I think twenty four was slightly out of the budget. We got what we got. Nino, that'd be fire. I need that. Spend enough money. Um, non stoppy I like that name, by the way. Alright. Um, no, 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 no. First person to get it was Diablo. Diablo. Even though your name's wrong, you did guess the right helmet, which is the Shogun. Things baller. So Shogun, send me an email. Uh, Shogun, Diablo, send me an email. 
I'll get you a little care package sent out. Thank you for playing. It's pretty fire though. I didn't see that. It's got the gold up top. Little gold accents here and there. Sick. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously this one's banged up. It's a, it's a hard competition between the two. Lit. All right. So we got the helmet. Got everything all set up here. Um, let me get some organization here. Let me point this out too. I want to show you guys this. Completely irrelevant. But I use this GoPro charger, battery charger. It has a spot for all three batteries. And then it's got a little slit so you can put your memory card in here and also hold two memory cards and you can plug it in and charge it and read your memory cards all in this little box. So it's a charger and a memory card reader all in one. And the brand is Telesin, T-E-L-E-S-I-N. I'm not smart enough to email these companies and try to make money like off uh, endorsements. So uh, this is literally just me using things that work for me and uh, telling you guys about it. I'm not making money from them or anything. It's funny, they actually emailed me and they were like, hey, you want to review our product? And it was like a week after I bought it and I was like, I already use it. And I was like, crickets. <laughs> but yeah, let's see here. Don't head out. Seven o'clock, people. Sleepy heads. All right, so what we got here, we got the Shogun. First thing I'm going to do is use these snazzy old vent plugs that they just fucking came out with. I'm never going to use this box again, so get nasty with it, you know? Get nasty with it. Oh, damn, it comes with a bunch. And it's got the mount. What? Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Look at that. It's got a... I didn't know they came with a rock chin mount and all that. Cool. So, that's all there. This screws into here. Wow, this is dope. I didn't know they sent me a... Your actual mount for it too. That's righteous. Six, six, six. Europe gang, gang. Yeah, what time is it where everybody's at? That's a good question. Probably dumb late. So these vent plugs, I'm just gonna like shove in the vents. Sounds accurate. Should have had a game plan here, people. We're just sending it. That looks about right. No. I'm not really sure how these things are going to end. I think I'll miles per hour asking time. I don't really know if I'm doing this right, but I'll sing so. see where these two go, but we got the chin mount and all that good stuff. <laughs> Fucking condom. They are wild on right now. This puppy don't look big enough. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to fit on the helmet somehow. Uh, before you have, uh, we should be talking about that. Check the date on the package to ensure that it is undamaged. Carefully open at the jagged edge, taking care not to tear the condom. Remove the condom with care, check the roll on the outside, and get to it. Yeah, we got a fish tank. You guys like fish? My dad would really like if I showed it off. He's really fanatic about his fish. I don't know sheesh about him. I don't even know how to turn the, the light on. Give me one second. Stare at this helmet. I'm going to see if I can get the fish tank turned on because the lights are off. Hold up one second. Figured it out. Oh, good 
dude, I just showed you. Watch. You yeah. want to see something badass? No, I'm live streaming. I'm just trying to show that real quick. Oh, look at here. Yeah, you know, I'm just making it a thing. I'm just real quick. Yeah, there you go. Right. One, oh, one yeah, two, yeah. three, four. Okay. One is that. Two. Red. Red. Yeah, I want the bright one. Green. Look at. <laughs> Alright, here's the uh here's the fish tank for you guys real quick. And then you can do a thunderstorm. Fishies. Yeah, that one's better they can see him. Happy birthday, Poseidon. Or is this the X10? We sold that girl a while ago. Long, long while ago. Look at that one, he's chilling. Right, bro? I don't know if any of them are edible. Yeah, I got a lot of builds that I'm, I'm currently uh, undergoing, I guess you could say. But uh, the problem is the space right now. I got so much stuff going on. Not enough space for all of it. All right. So we got Shogun. And lost the camera. Mm -hmm. This thing keep falling. All right. We're back. My bad, one of my tripod arms broke. It's a it's a, a dipod now, duopod. I don't know what you call two arms. Stay. Alright, so shout out to Motorads. They uh you know see they actually have one of the better mounts that I like. Um I'm gonna try out that rock one, but I like this one because it's a three pointer. And these guys specialize in GoPro accessories and stuff like that. So you know that they put a lot of time and effort into uh, everything that they make. So this is a great option for a lot of different helmets because some of them require more than just one mounting point for it to be sturdy. And that's what this thing does. So you got these two pieces that clip into the center one. And they kind of swivel a little bit so you get more uh, range of motion depending on what the front curve is on the helmet. All I'm gonna do is peel these three tabs on it. <laughs> Super simple. See you, buddy. Later. Ride safe. Bring it back food. Let me bring food back. Sad. You got word Uber Eats. I don't remember. Chicken Parmesan. Alright, so you have to peel these things off. No, uh, cream sickle's mine to stay. Um, so this is this is pretty much it. I'm just gonna take. Alright, I'm just gonna take these right here, put it center, and then just mount it like so. One, two, three. This thing is really hard to come off. Like I, I don't know. I have to rip them off whenever I'm ready. So that's it. First mount is done. Go from mount. Super simple. Yeah, he's ripping. <laughs> um, so the next thing you do is just take this little mount. Like I said, the little swivel mount. Mine's broken. I don't give a shit. It still works. Slide it in. It clips, and they got a little rubber. Boom. So now you got two pieces down. Then you take your Hero 8, I'll break that down again for all of our new listeners and viewers. We've got the blue battery, make sure it's blue. Put it inside the GoPro. Then you take your media mod, this is fancy schmancy media mod is like 80 bucks or so. But it's nice because you don't have to use this stupid adapter thing that like hangs in the side of your helmet and you look like you got tentacles coming out of your face. It's stupid. So you just take that, you're going to slide it into the medium GoPro mate the two, you know what I'm saying? And then you got it just chilling there. And then from there, pop your little tabs out. Come on. I just cut my nails. Stupid. All right, so now you got your little pieces out. So remember, all your microphone plugs are right here. So when you slide your GoPro in, shit. Come on, man. Well, hold up a second. Now you 
you slide your GoPro in, and then take your handy dandy thing and screw it in there. So this is kind of where I leave my GoPro chilling. The only thing you're missing now is your microphone. Give you guys a second to take all that in. I know it's a lot. What happened to my arms? Motorcycles happened. Wheelies happened. Five weeks of abuse to my body happened. For you guys' it's pleasure. I got a lot. I like it too. <laughs> Alright. It's my sister's cousin's brother's boyfriend's little sister's best friend's step success. Alright, we're gonna block this guy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I'm putting a timeout. Everybody's going to timeout. You're all my children. Oh, I hit him from the channel. That's a little, that's a little rough. What do you do when it rains? Um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a rain expert with this freaking uh, Florida lifestyle. I don't know. I just buy a new GoPro because it gets freaking burnt up, all wiring and stuff. Bro, I've had a face reveal for like two years. Where you been? Alright. Next up, this is the old helmet. I'm just going to take one thing from it that I can't afford to buy a second of. That's a microphone. So this part is very simple. What we're going to do is take this. So, most of your microphones, you see how this one has three rings, three black rings, one, two, three. You can't use that in your GoPro. So you need to get an adapter cord that plugs into your microphone cord. And that one has two black rings, one, two. So two black rings fits in the GoPro. Well, they both fit, but the two black rings actually works. It'll receive audio and all that nerd shit. So what you want to do, I guess just put that to the side for now. And take your helmet and gently pop your um, cheek pad out, you know. Take your cheek pad. That's oh, still buckled for your boy. Ooh, pop the tags, why don't we? So you take your cheek pad, pop it out, slide your buckle through it. And now you got uh, your microphone that you can just stick behind the helmet like so. Put your buckle back through. It's kind of hard to do it facing me, so you're going to have to pretend you see what I'm doing here. Two you a bunch later. What is up? I'm trying to get this damn cheek pad perfectly in here. I'm not gonna lie, it's pitch black, so it's a little bit of a pain. What? I'm trying to read this comment. It's making my head hurt. 
Shout out to the Philippines, though. Much love. Philippine gang gang. All right, so you guys can see the little purple mic sticking out, maybe. My bad, my bad, my bad. We back. All right, we back, we back, we back. My bad. Said zero or low battery. So we got this done. And uh, here we go. Microphone. Can you see? Basically a cheek pad, I just shoved the microphone in here. So we got our cord hanging, boom. Plug that into the adapter, got your adapter. And then from there, plug in the cord to the GoPro, and that's it. That's literally my whole setup. Boom. You can tuck some of this slack away if you want to. So you can listen to music still with the mic and GoPro. No, this is just my GoPro audio setup. So that's a, that's that. And then this is the Cardo, Cardo setup right here. Pack top black fold. Are you ready? It's pretty gangster. I already dropped it. So that puppy right there is what I like. Yeah, it's baller. I, I've used the Sienna in the past. I used the uh, the Rurock as well. Um, but yeah, I love the Cardo. Cardo specializes in pimping out these Bluetooth headsets. So that's what I use. So these are the JBL 45 millimeter speakers and they straight slap. Really happy to have these back. Um, you got all this like adhesive stuff. The mount I like to use is this one. It's so nice. Look how thin it is. Plus this. Wait. Hmm? Can't remember how this work again. Say this pops out. Probably gonna break it. I know it slides out. <laughs> we might break it. No, but uh, I know one of them's got the little. Come on, man. I know it's somewhere. Let's see. Uh, I don't want this clip. I need to take this clip off. Okay, really good. Cannot install on the mount. All right, well this thing goes in here. It's a lot easier doing when it's on the, on the helmet. So what I'm trying to do is take this thing off. Let's 
should just pop right out. There we go. Yeah, so that's what I was trying to do to get this clip out. I'm like talking to the case. Like, all right, camera. All right, so I just had to get this little clip out. I had to slide it with like a little pincher. Good paper. We are making progress. I know I was about to break it, but you gotta think about it for a second. Break down the structure. Um, so this is the whole um, cardo right here, which is the reason I like it so much. Let me get it mounted real quick. So this is the entire amount of space that I'll need on the side of my helmet, and it's not much at all. Like that's way less. So I'll put it on this side, of my helmet. Let me get all this crap out of the way. Looks super nice too. It's all black. Goes really well with the helmet. So I can mount it anywhere on the side. It doesn't have to be clipped onto anything, which is really cool since the uh, mount's in it adhesive. So I'm probably gonna put it right here. Uh, yeah, right there. That way it's uh, got the coats tucking in the back. Yeah, that's where I had it previously. I yeah, appreciate you guys copping the shirts. I was happy to uh, probably have some. Especially these are like super thin, like really lightweight. All the shirts that I usually buy are like heavy cotton. So when I'm riding, they feel like 100 pounds when you start sweating in them. But these shirts, if you guys are like into like athletic, lightweight tees, they're really nice and uh, comfy in that aspect. I just don't like wearing a shirt. It gets super heavy. But then again, <laughs> if you're trying to stay warm, you need like four of these shirts. Because they're light. Thin, thin. Yeah. So that's it. I just used 3M for it. Boom. Sorry this is a lengthy video, but we're just chilling. No rush. Uh, yeah. Boom. But I love this cardo, man. I'm, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't pay me. Um, they just hooked me up. They gave me this black one when they came out with it. it took me a couple months to put it on, to be honest with you guys. But I got my new Rock helmet that I got a couple months ago. And this cardo and finally set it all up. So I figured I'd do a live for you guys. And it's Black Friday um, all month. I don't know what the entire reason was, but like pretty much, you guys remember, Black Friday used to be like one, or one day and then it turned into like one week. And now it's this entire month of November. So companies like Rurock and Cardo and all them, I know Rurock for a fact is doing the uh, Black Friday sale. I got the link in the bio if you guys want to grab one of these. I'm only saying it, I mean, I know it's salesy, but I'm legit saying you guys are always asking for discounts. This is the one time of year that you guys can get the most discount on these helmets. So uh, up to 70% off, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, black, I'm really excited about. One thing I like about them is they got this little pinwheel or spin wheel thing. Super satisfying when you're riding or use. Um, and the rest is pretty simple, guys. I'm not going to go into too much detail with this. Uh, I'm just going to wire in the microphone and wire in the speakers. And I'm going to do it half assed if I'm doing it in front of you guys live. Oh, fuck it. We'll try it. Why not? Drop some questions, people. Let me know what you guys are up to. What's, what's life happening with you guys right now? The amount of the biggest thing that I loved about traveling these past five weeks, not being home, is just all the different people I've met and all the experiences I got to experience. 
Um, just the right time, the right time, right place, or at the wrong time, in the wrong place. Life is a trip, people. All right, so we got the longer speaker with more wire. That's going to be for the opposite side of the head unit. And then the short wired speaker is going to be the one that you wire in closest to where the actual unit is. That makes sense. So first thing I'll do is see. You have like a hole where your ears are naturally at in most helmets where there's a spot to put in um, speakers. So that's where I would put mine, just right there. I don't put any pads or anything on top of it just so I can get the most uh, audio clearance. But if it's like screaming at me, I might want to put some padding in later on. So I got one wired in. And I'm trying my best not to like really cut into a whole lot of padding here. That way it just stays nice and pretty. But I personally don't want to just take apart padding. Yeah, Lukey. Gotta stay sane somehow. Um, yeah, the reason I rented a van for five weeks traveling is because my neighbor hit mine like three days before my trip and um, she, she smashed my back door to where I couldn't close it. And I was kind of screwed, so um, her insurance company paid for the entire uh, four weeks of traveling. I had to pay the last couple weeks, which they lied to me about. They said they were going to cover it, which isn't really that big of a deal. But, yeah, I got lucky not having to use my van for 8,000 miles of traveling through mountains and stuff. We gave her the business. I was not, I was not light on it. Snazzy. I got I got the headphone wire ran so far. JBLs are actually sitting in the helmet without even using any adhesive. Um, it's got like Velcro on the back, and they just fit right right inside the helmet's um, padding. And the helmet's padding naturally just lets it fucking stay in there. I'm happy. Oh, my band's fixed, by the way. I'm kind of giving these half stories here, but yeah, my van's fixed now. They took two weeks to fix my van door, and I was in the middle of, like, Arizona when they called, and I just came and picked it up as soon as I got back into town. My van's a twin turbo V6, and the one that I borrowed was a non-turbo V6, so I was so happy, even though my van's an older one, I was so happy to have it back, because the thing scoots and boots so fast compared to that thing. I even started to feel like my van's slow until I borrowed that van. Made me like appreciate how nice it is. 400 horsepower, baby. All right. So even though I was lazy, I just put the speakers in. Kind of hard to see them. You guys can maybe see them. They're in there. Uh, FC07, I'm still waiting on the uh, handbrake bracket design. My buddy, uh, local here, is designing it still. I would already have it started to get built, but um, that's what we're waiting on. So I'm going to be doing a Patreon update soon on that. How are you liking the helmet? I haven't tried it on yet. Might as well. Just peep it. Oh man, this thing's not reamed out.
guys think? Oh, first scratch. So it's crazy, like, the padding on this is so reamed out. Just, just beats a shit. The helmet, the shape of the helmet is the same uh, size as this one, but the padding alone is so fresh in this helmet that, I don't know, it's just like freaking super tight. But you get that chipmunk cheek, basically uh, the padding is so tight, you want it to be like pushing your cheeks a little bit. And that one just didn't have it anymore from beating the pads up so much. So it's safe. Uh, photogram, I was just talking about it uh, earlier, so I actually bring that part up now. Um, Medium mod's working great for me. I've only got caught slipping a couple times, like at gas stations when we're getting them chased out or something. I don't do the process right. Um, but if you guys are new to the video, what I've been doing is the, um, the new helmet setup with my new GoPro. So I got the Motorrad's three point um, hero mount, um, GoPro mount I should say, and I just put that right here. And then I have this swivel mod from GoPro. It's basically a ball that moves all around. And then um, I got that from Best Buy. I don't know who else sells it. Uh, the media mod is for the Hero 8. I'm using the Hero 8 with it. And then basically the way that this Hero 8 works with the media mod, I like it because it's super simple. There's not wires hanging off. And as a stunt rider jumping around on the bike, um, this is the least likely setup to get hit or uh, rip wires out and stuff like that. So what I do is I turn the mic, like if I'm going to ride and I want to shoot a video right now, this is what I do. I turn the uh, camera on, camera is now on, it takes a second, it's like a black screen, and I wait until like the, the settings and stuff show up where it says standard and stuff. So you're at this screen now. So what you do at this point is you take your microphone, make sure you have your adapter, if it only has three rings, make sure it only has two rings, two little black rings, and you take this microphone, plug it into the back of your GoPro, let it sit there for a few seconds, and then press record. So now we're recording, and the, those little bits of delay gives your GoPro one time to turn on and know that it's got a media mod hooked up, and then once you plug in the microphone, you wait a couple more seconds so that the media mod knows that your microphone's plugged in. And at that point, everything's good to go. You press record, and um, you'll have perfect audio. Uh, the only downside with this, I don't really know if, if I turn the camera off, if I stop recording and it's still running, I'm a little bit paranoid, so I turn it off, unplug the microphone, and do it all over again. But it's hard to say if you press it again and you start recording again without turning it off, if it's going to do all that. I don't even know why I just shut off. GoPro sucks sometimes, okay? I'll, just, I'll be honest. I'm not endorsed by them, so I'll be honest and tell you. I bought every single GoPro out besides the 9. A little too fancy. Um, but yeah, they be sucking sometimes. They need a line. Great, great nonetheless. They've got my channel to this point. Photo Grummer. What's good, bro? Yeah. It works fine turning on and off. I don't know about all that, buddy. I'm not going to risk it again. I don't really like this thing. It's cool, but I like the, um, where the hell is that? I got some other one. It's called like a Neopod or something like that. So now you got your boom mic. Ooh, I could put this in. Last but not least, right? Can't forget the south. Just got to plug in. This is the microphone for the Cardo. I'm answering phone calls or something. Plug it in like so. Probably run this thing. I'm not really too concerned about this microphone, so I'm just kind of slapping it. That's cool, it comes with everything.
No matter what you do, you're going to have 50 wires in your helmet. does not matter. Just remember that. Everything is okay. That's it, people. Helmet finished. I have the GoPro, I got the Cardo, I got the vent plugs. I got a condom. Um, yeah. Any questions that you guys might have before I end this live stream? Um, appreciate it, SC Madness. Uh, yeah, Rook has the, uh, right here, they have the Shockwave, that's another option. I'm just homies with the Cardo brand, and they sent this to me to try out, and I like the previous one, so I wanted to rock it. Um, but yes, if you have the Shockwave, you can rock as well. But on top of that, shout out to Rook, they got a nice, um, like, 3D, um, shaped mount specifically for their Atlas helmets. So that's really cool. Um, as well as the vent plugs, which as a moto vlogger, these are really nice to have um, since they cover up a lot of the sound. So I'm happy people. Um, answering some questions real quick. If you guys have anything you want to know. Um, definitely not coming back to Chai to ride in the snow. That's a no for me. But shout out to Jeremiah. Stay strong in that blizzard. Um, I don't know. This is a car that I don't know about seeing as waterproof capabilities. I would love to dump one underwater and see. Treasure Coast. Uh, sounds familiar. Where's that at? In Florida? Excuse my uh, ignorance for not knowing. Las Vegas, I was just there. I was just in Vegas, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Denver. Houston, a couple other cities in between there. What's your question, Miner? Good to see you again, by the way. Sick. <laughs> I don't know, Las Vegas is kind of like the city that never sleeps, but it was sleeping um, last, like two weeks ago. There was nothing going on. Myrtle Beach, I think I passed through there. Vero Beach, I know about that Vero. Yeah, you guys want to rap, huh? Man, if I had a homie with me, I'd rap. I need one person to peer pressure me, that's all. I'm just solo dolo, no beat in mind. Dude, I have the sickest F4i in mind. I'm not actually going to ride it, but you guys are going to be really excited to see this thing. Where did Joe go? What's Joe? I personally use the Hero 8 with the medium mod because the Hero 7 doesn't have a medium mod. You better retract your message, boy. You don't want the smoke. Technology does suck. Um, Fort Worth, Texas, I just went through. I really don't want to go anywhere, to be honest, people. Five weeks on a road drains you. Drains you bad. 
I, I lied. I'm leaving tomorrow for uh, Virginia, but not by choice. Favorite strain? I'm gonna have to say sweet potatoes. They're super good. You can make fries out of them. You can make candy yams, baked potatoes. Um, great compliment. I don't know. Who's Joe, by the way? Um, I don't know about Jacksonville. It's, it's kind of cutting it close. Traveling is super rough. Did you did you ask me a question, Miner? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you heading down to Virginia? Well, it's up to Virginia from Florida. Um, I'm going up there to uh, visit family and possibly get some parts for the bikes. Mainly visit fam. iPhone or rock you do? What? Is that like a, a riddle? Uh, you better make a ground stump bike. You better make it a race bike. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me give you guys the updates. The FZ07 build, you can blame Manic Machining on Instagram. Send them a message, tell them to speed up the uh, FZ07 handbrake bracket design. His Instagram is Manic underscore Machining. Shoot him a DM and say, I'm ready for Dank to start building the FZ07. Because I'm his friend, we're homies. I've, I've tried to give him a little nudge, like, oh, what's that bracket coming out? But he's like a mastermind with these uh, programmings of these um, brackets. So basically, you get a big block of metal, and you just make you use math equations to create a pattern of machining for this big tool to uh, create a bracket out of. So all that takes time, a lot of uh, sitting and smoking by the computer and getting all these dimensions right and all this other crap. And then we gotta put it on the brat or on the bike after it's built and realize that it's wrong and then start from scratch again a couple times. So that's what the uh, R&D process is with making a stump racket for a bike that you've never made before. And um, yeah, if you guys have joined the Patreon, I think back in um, November when I grabbed the bike, every single day from November all the way up until when the bike's finished counts. So if you guys join the build later in the time when we're actually putting parts on it, um, the people that were in from the beginning in November, it's still they still have a higher chance just because uh, that's when the build started uh, originally, technically. So yeah, um, manic machining. Let them know. We're ready to see that bracket. Who's mom? Oh, what up? Shout out to Baghdad. I didn't know y'all could see me from there. So that's a that's a major key. Anyone else from out of the country watching? Y'all are probably sleeping. Bluetooth I'm using is the one I just installed, the Cardo Pack Talk Black Edition. Uh, it's the new, latest and greatest with the upgraded speakers, the black, shiny display. She bought it. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up this live stream, people. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to read back on the screen. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that, Taiwan. I hope you, hope you sleep well. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Canada, shout out to UK, shout out to Myrtle Beach, shout out to Cali, shout out to Cal, shout out to 7 vs. 8, shout out to Wisco, shout out to Florida, shout out to Know Your Mom For Real, she's cool, fixed you up when you got wrecked. Yeah, you're right, my mom is legit, biggest, biggest fan, I don't care what you guys say. Uh, shout out to Chicago, shout out to Sodak, shout out to Uwa. Shout out to Finland, shout out to Iowa, shout out to Sweden, shout out to Washington, shout out to Vegas, shout out to, ooh, I almost, almost said HD. Um, no, someone asked me if I wanted to buy a Harley Sportster 1200 for 2500 bucks today, and I had to decline. I got too much crap on my plate. Um, shout out to Anaheim. Uh, met some really cool people out there. Straight up, shout out to Straight Vicious in Anaheim. Probably one of the dopest groups of guys that I met out in Cali uh, my whole week that I was there. Shout out to Jason Britton, he hooked it up. I got all the stuff videoed. I'm, I'm playing catch up right now, getting orders shipped out. If you guys ordered anything on the website today, um, it's all shipped out. I have nothing left to do but uh, organize and edit videos now. So, shout out to VA, shout out to Old Man Metalworks, that's my guy. Oh, Jay Whisk. 
Yeah, my nigga, I got the secret secret YouTube here. I gotta hook you up with the seat, bro, ASAP for sure. I knew you'd want to be. I, I gotta have your hands touching on that seat. Shout out to uh, Winchester. Shout out to Ireland. Shout out to Cali again. PA. Shout out to Latvia. Sick. Shout out to New Orleans. Um, to Jacob S. Kin. I don't know who that is. I don't know. <laughs> Wet, shout out to the wet, cold west coast of Norway. Damn, I really paint a picture here. Uh, shout out to the UK. Yeah, I want to come to the UK. I did so much traveling in the United States. I had one trip out of the States um, to, uh, to London. Shout out to Rock for that trip. That was amazing. And it inspired me to uh, expand my horizons for 2021. Um, I'm going to wrap this video up, guys, but I just wanted to say... Uh, February or March, whenever I get uh, everything situated, I'll finally be buying my first house. I planned on it last year. I kicked my balls with uh, everything that I needed to get done. But I got everything lined up to finally have a house February, March. And that kind of ties into this channel because I'll have like an extra room and a garage and all this other crap. So we can like start having like a studio and um, just, just taking our channel to like a, like a, a new, new level of like organization growth and all this stuff. like. It's a pretty good live stream just sitting in a spot, but just imagine having like props and everything else set up and just keeping it legit, not being some cornball ass YouTuber being fake and shit, but just a sick house where everybody's being productive, build bikes, um, just new designing, like projects and all this other crap. I'm just really excited to have this house, especially like being an adult enough to like appreciate it and um, use it productively and all that other stuff. So that'll be happening in um, like February, March, but until then, um, I'm just being patient, uh, trying to keep the content flowing out for you guys. I have four week or five weeks of videos that I haven't even got to yet. So there's so many sick street rides that I went on and stuff like that. I got a really good story time coming up, crazy stuff happening. Ah, it's a lot happening people. So thank you guys for watching and all that crap. I forgot where I was going with this in the first place, but yeah. Around me, bro. It's my channel. Of course, it's about me. Um, I don't. I don't do updates. Shout out to the gang. All right, we get you poop today, but uh, anything else? I'm gonna hide you from the channel, my guy. All right. Uh, yes. Danklily.com for the merch. Rock helmet is what I was setting up today with the cargo. Pack Talk Bold, GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod and the microphone setup. That's it. It's my new helmet. If you guys want a rock helmet, check out the link in the description. They're doing a Black Friday sale. It's dummy cheap helmets all month. Different time frames that they're dropping different price um, drops and all that stuff. So basically, just keep your eye on the Rock's website if you're in the market for a helmet because um, it's just going to be on sale and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, reading comments. I just feel bad. Like, I'm going to, no matter what time I end the live stream, you guys are going to keep asking me something. I'm going to miss somebody. But thank you guys. Let me uh, go around the other side. Thank you guys for staying tuned uh, for this helmet setup. If you guys got any questions, DM me and all that good stuff um, on the helmet and all that. But yeah, take care and fire content coming 